experiencing difficulties on how to deal with negative people around you? Negative people are a fact of life and something that we all must deal with from time to time. Regardless of how much individuals stress positive energy, there will consistently be people around us that appear to burden us with their pessimism. For a few, cynicism is a way a day-to-day -day existence. Maybe then becoming baffled with their outlook. And perhaps losing a few companions and associates all the while. It's significant that you realize how to manage them effectively. Try not to destroy yourself by permitting contrary people to add rubbish and garbage to your character, reputation and yearnings. Keep all fantasies live however prudent, so those with undesirable tongues will not have some other alternative than to overrun themselves with their own sicknesses. So, rather than waiting for a magic, learn how to control yourself and start applying these smart ways to respond to a negative person. Number 1. Empathize. At the point when negative people feel down, specific strategies like being advised to perk up or quiet down never work. All things considered, they generally need you to comprehend where they're coming from and where their lives are at this moment. Possibly they're overpowered with responsibilities they can't relinquish, perhaps they're between occupations, going through relationship issues, or are attempting to acquire dependability in their lives. In any case, they simply need somebody to share in their sentiments with them and to feel like they're perceived. Frequently, that alone will be enough to cheer them up. Number 2. Talk, yet don't attempt to help. Certain individuals go to others searching for guidance. With adverse individuals, in any case, that is infrequently the situation. Maybe, pessimistic individuals normally simply need to release pressure. Hearing guidance or reasonable things in warm snapshots of disappointment once in a while help. In the event that you need to have the option to keep up your inspirational perspective while drawing in with somebody negative. Pay attention to and get their disappointment, however don't get more required than that. Number 3. Discover what satisfies them. Since their negative doesn't imply that things don't make them giggle. In case you're battling with discovering points to break, search for subjects that interest them. What do you discuss that makes them grin? What do they feel energetic about? Is it their family, their companions, voyages, or stories? Discover what brings them delight, and help them to remember that. Number 4. Pay attention to what exactly they're not saying. While negative people may whine an incredible arrangement, odds are. They're saying significantly more than you might suspect under the surface. Focus on how they truly feel things they show between the lines. They may be kidding as a method for dealing with stress, utilizing dull humor to manage how harmed they truly are. They may energetically enjoy self-censure, however need tokens of their self-esteem. On the off chance that you feel like it, seeing what negative people truly need under the surface will reinforce your relationship. Number 5. Have a good time. Once in a while, as overloaded these people may feel. All they need is somebody to convince them to escape their funk and have some good times. They don't require empowering words or handholding. They simply need another person to assume responsibility and to give up, since they feel so crazy of and embittered with their own lives. Be that person, and you both will be more joyful. Number 6. Separate yourself if needed. Being exposed to negative behavior on a frequent basis can be mentally and physically exhausting. We'll instinctively know when a person is pushing us past comfort zone. It is at this point that it's necessary to get away. If possible. We all have our limits, it's nothing to be ashamed of or ignore. Number 7. Smile. Now and then an adverse individual's view of their general surroundings is slanted. This can be ascribed to anything, from youth encounters to their encounters at home or work. The simple act of smiling and maintaining a positive disposition may be enough to challenge these perceptions indirectly. Number 8. Do not judge or assume. Truly, we are all developed differently, and negative people are at times given the worst part of the deal. 
Being judgmental or assumptive is obvious through both verbal and non-verbal prompts. It is imperative to actually avoid these signs, no matter how tempting. When trying to resolve the situation posed by the negative person. Number 9. Maintain a positive boundary. We as a whole heard the aphorism multiple times. Control what you can handle. Establishing and keeping a climate of inspiration frequently prompts one of two outcomes. 1. It shields you from their negative energy, or, 2. Helps them feel, and potentially act, in a more good way. In any case, it is possible that you as well as the other person are decidedly affected. Number 10. Try to restrict the measure of time you spend with them. At the point when negative people have discovered their way into your life, in some way or another, ensure that you limit the measure of time you go through with them. Negative people that influence you contrarily can wind up turning into a bloodsucker that sucks their joy and satisfaction out of you. Actually, no matter how thick-skinned you think you are, every positive and negative experience in your life has some effect on you. So deal with yourself and try not to invest more energy with them than you need to. Regardless of whether you work with negative people, and can't try not to go to work. You can in any case control how much collaboration you have just as the amount you engage them during breaks. Number 11. Be a positive influence. You could possibly help the person feel more hopeful by being a good impact in their life. That is to say, what other decision do you have? At the point when they work with you or in the event that they are family, this is now and again the greatest second prize. So instead of engaging their cynicism, expect to be a positive impact in their life. Who knows, you may very well come off on them. On the off chance that you believe they're basically forlorn, maybe you could get a gather and all go out for supper. Or then again perhaps you could recommend an interest. Or then again acquaint them with another person that you think may be beneficial for them. Check whether you can distinguish a particular reason for their cynicism and afterward help them. Number 12. Completely remove them in your life. This is your last option if you are having difficulty on how to handle negative people. Particularly in case that you're kind-hearted, you'll probably need to save this choice if all else fails. Now and again we have people in our lives that don't need to be there. And it doesn't bode well to keep up with the relationship if that relationship just brings you pessimism. All things considered, find a few ways to dispose of them from your life. There's very little beyond what that I can say about it. Aside from perhaps, in case you're a sort-hearted, good people, you will no doubt think that it's hard to do on the grounds that you will feel remorseful. But, the real question you need to be asking yourself is, what is the cost of keeping these people, person, in my life? Thank you for watching.